Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox with Indian Norwegian Adventures. And to be completely honest with you, I've missed my ham clock for a while now. I had my ham clock running on a cheap eBay screen and well, those last as long as they do. So what I got here from AliExpress is, and I got to look at my cheat sheet here. It's the iPist Bit 7 inch touchscreen monitor for Raspberry Pi IPS LCD 1024 by 600 dual speaker HDMI small monitor for Raspberry Pi driver free or LCD display as it says. And it says with speakers, no speakers on this one. Uh, I opted to not have speakers on it because it's going to be used for my ham clock nonetheless. So hopefully with this screen and this old Raspberry Pi 3B that I had in a junk drawer, I'll be able to set my ham clock up again. So um, let's go over to the workbench, open the screen, see what's inside and uh, see how the Raspberry Pi mounts to the screen and how everything looks. I am not going to show you how to install ham clock. I got a video on that. I'll link that down below um, so you can go through the steps there and install ham clock. It's actually not that hard if you know a little bit of Linux and I got a step by step video on it. So I'm not going to do that again. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to mount this Raspberry Pi to the screen, see what kind of mounting kit is in this box. Then I'm going to put ham clock on it, which you won't see. And we're going to take a look at how the screen is and if it's any good. And just to be completely transparent, this LCD display, let's just call it that for now, or compact screen, was sent to me by AliExpress free of charge. And if you don't know what AliExpress is, it's an online marketplace where you can get pretty much anything, anything from ham radio gear to electronics, to clothes, to auto parts, to whatever you can imagine. And um, I got this screen. I like to use AliExpress for ham radio and ham radio adjacent things. And this screen is definitely ham radio adjacent when we get ham clock on it. So with no further ado, let's go on to the workbench, set it up and see how it performs. And first of all here, let's open the box up and see what it is here. I'm testing to use a better camera for my workbench, which means I got to work kind of from the side and not as ideal, but hopefully the image quality is better for you. So let's get the box open here. And you've probably seen this before in my videos, but my workbench is really small. So I need to make some compromises. First of all, we have the screen with some beautiful plastic to tear after we've looked at the rest of the box. And in here, we got mounting points for the Raspberry Pi. We got an HDMI connector. And that's pretty much it here. Get a button for backlight, headphone connection. We'll take a look at that when we get there. Let's see what else is in the box. And this is actually pretty well packed. There's a piece of paper here. IPistbit customer service. Please take a look at what they have to say. And we got a micro USB cable in this here and an HDMI cable. Don't think we're going to need the, any of those right now. And we got a couple of mounting accessories in here. And I don't know about you guys, but I hate to open these kind of bags. I never seem to find the right point to open them. I just empty it and in the box here and see. So we got a couple of stands here with some screws, some standoffs, uh, and actually a small screwdriver. That's pretty nice. Then we have for a Raspberry Pi 3, we have, uh, well, this is kind of weird. There's a mini HDMI. No, sorry, it's a micro USB to full size USB. So I guess this is for the touch input. I didn't even know that the screen had touch input, but apparently we can use touch now. And then it's a HDMI jumper connection here for the HDMI port. We'll get to that later on. And 
We got the similar here for the recipe pie 4B. Uh, I'm not going to use that because mine's a 3B. So let's put the box away uh, and start mounting here and see if we can mount the Raspberry Pi to this. And it's actually a good thing that I don't do what I usually do and tear the plastic off straight away because uh, I got to leave the screen upside down on my mat here. So let's take out the little, empty the little bag of parts here and see. We got the screwdriver. We got two of these stands. We're going to get them later on. Uh, we got some kind of rubber here and we got the standoffs and the screws. So I'm guessing, let's see here, let's just test fit this and see if we put the Raspberry Pi like this. Now we're going to need the standoffs on it. Let's go ahead, do this without any kind of instructions. Not that there are any instructions in this, but this should be pretty straightforward. So let's start by screwing the standoffs in here. And there's actually, there's some plastic on top of the screw holes here. So we gotta peel that off. Not sure if I'm actually gonna use the touch functionality, but it's, it's nice to have nonetheless. I'm guessing the spacers go in here. Let's get all four of those in before we do anything else. And of course this needs some power as well. Um, so I'm actually going to need one power source for the screen and one power source for the um, Raspberry Pi. So I guess I got to use that um, micro USB cable that came with it just for power. You can see one of these micro USB ports says power. So let's see, I'm guessing if it put it like this, it looks like the HDMI ports are lining up and the touch USB is lining up. I am not sure if this gets power from the Raspberry Pi through the USB port. That might happen. We'll take a look at that later on. And let's just use the screwdriver that came in the pack. And it's actually pretty nice to get a screwdriver with this because I tend to lose my screwdrivers or at least misplace them. I actually found the screwdriver in an old radio box I was going to throw away today. So, uh, yeah, that happens to me. Let's see if we can get the second screw in. And it's actually really nice. My old ham clock did not have room for the pie in the back, so I always had the pie just tucked away behind the screen. And I wanted something a little, a little more elegant this time. See so if we can nudge the last screw in here. There we go, we've assembled the Pi. Let's open the connectors here and get those set up and then test the stand for it. This should be for the touch module. This should now theoretically if everything's well designed. And I hope I get everything in frame, but I'm only going to do this once. That fit well. Let's check with the HDMI connector as well. And that fit in there. So everything's good there. Let's take a look at the stand here. There are some paper obviously to be peeled away here, but yeah, before we do that, let's just check that it actually sit, sits in the stand and how we're supposed to do this. I'm actually 
not sure how this is supposed to sit in here. Okay, this actually will take some investigation to figure out. Um, I'll do that without filming, figure out how it's supposed to be, and uh, then you'll see how it's supposed to look. Okay, I can tell you that much, that this was not easy. Um, the hole was drilled in the correct place in one of the sands, but not the other, so that's why I did it off camera, because, uh, yeah, all my swearing does not make for good YouTube. But there's one thing left to do before we put ham clock on this pie, and that's the obligatory tearing of the plastic. Oh, we got two layers of plastic here. Even better. Ah, that was just a sticker. A little bit disappointing, but um, yeah, let's go ahead, put ham clock on it. So, as you can see, I managed to get ham clock up and running on this screen. Um, although not as perfect as I wanted, because you can see that there are black bars around the ham clock image here. Um, I haven't set up ham clock in a really, really long time, so i got to be honest, I don't remember how to do that. But, that is not the screen's fault. And, I guess it's time to conclude on this. Let's check my cheat sheet again, because, um, I can't remember the name of this, uh, the screen. The I pissed bit 7 inch touchscreen monitor for Raspberry Pi IPS LCD 1024 by 600. Yeah, you know the drill. Um, this I pissed bit 7 inch screen, what do I think about it? Well, except for the fact that the hole in one of the stands were, was drilled in the wrong spot to actually fit the screen, and I had to use my trusted orange camouflage knife to, to fix that. It is really nice. It is crisp, it has beautiful colors, it's easy to mount the Raspberry Pi, it's even a touchscreen, I didn't know it was a touchscreen. Um, even though it actually says so in the description, I just thought it wasn't a touchscreen. Nonetheless though, it's really nice, it's going to be a nice addition to my shack with ham clock running on it. I like it, and the best thing of all, it's only $27.23 at the time of recording. I'll leave some discount codes over there for you, if you're so inclined to buy this. And there are also affiliate links down below. Hope you liked this video. Um, I don't do a lot of build stuff. I do most operating stuff, but I've really wanted a ham clock on my desk. And this screen made me be able to do that for not a lot of money. Actually, no money at all, since AliExpress sponsored me, but that's a whole different story. Anyhow, if you liked the video, click the thumbs up button. If you disliked it and watched this far, and that actually happens quite a lot, obviously, click that thumbs down button. Leave a comment down below if you have any opinions. And as I said, there's also a video down below to my ham clock setup video. So um, you can get ham clock set up for yourself pretty easily. That's it for now. See you down the bands. See you in my next video. 73.